our GMA cover story, Sir Elton John taking what he calls a leap of faith, announcing his final world tour so he can spend more time with his family. I had a chance to sit down with him, talk about his big decision, what performing means to him, and what's next. True to form, Sir Elton John held court, announcing a new chapter in his fabled career. The rock icon will retire from touring after a monumental 300-city world tour. Robin! Hi, gorgeous. So tell us about this three-year tour, because knowing you, you're going to go out with a bang. I am You're not going to go out with a bang. I'm determined to go out with a bang. I just feel very joyous about the opportunity to go around the world and play and say thank you to all the fans that I've had. The Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour kicks off in September with stops in five continents over the next three years. Why now, Elton? Why now? Why now? Well, before the children, I thought, you know, this is what I'm going to be doing till the day I die. But I don't want to be traveling away from my children. They need me. I need them much more than another tour or doing another show. The proud father says his two sons, Zachary and Elijah, with husband David Furnish, are now his top priority. Our boys came into our life at a late time. I've never experienced anything like it, being a father and, and being a parent. And there's no contest. I'd rather be with my children than still be playing shows. Yeah. It's a very easy decision to make. I remember David saying he could not imagine you not performing in front of a live audience. Mm -hmm. that, that is something that he felt that you would always have to do. And I'll still be making music. I'll still be writing. I'll mm -hmm. still be making records. I'll still, you know, be involved in music. I can't not be involved in music. But it's what do you enjoy most about being on that stage and performing? The contact with another human being, the emotion you get back from someone who doesn't know you, you don't know them. Elton John's illustrious career spans over five decades. From hits like Rocket Man, to Candle in the Wind. He sold over 300 million records with 31 platinum albums and five Grammys. Has there been a, a defining song that you have performed? Oh, I have to say your song because it was the first great song that we wrote. How wonderful life is while you're in the world. Um, and I've been singing it ever since, in 1970. It stood the test of time. When you Think about Lion King and how that introduced you to another audience. I was so lucky. That completely changed my life. And can you feel the love tonight? Certain things like that have happened certain times in my career where one phone call, one decision, one gut feeling um, has made my life better. This is the same sort of gut feeling that I had when I said yes to doing the Lion King as I do a farewell to and good for you, because I think we all have that inner voice, but not many of us actually listen to it. It's called a leap of faith. And the leap of faith is scary. Mm -hmm. um, but there is no enjoyment in life without a bit of fear. And I've always tried to push myself through it. I'm having a hard time thinking about that last, that 300th performance. What is it that you want to leave on the stage and leave with people as you exit the stage? That. I gave people a hell of a lot of pleasure that our songs will live on and that I'm not disappearing and I will be making music, but I want my last performance to be in America because this is where I got my start um, and I owe this country so much and I'm so f fond of this country that I want to start and finish in America. It's a decision. Uh, he was talking with his husband about it for the last few years. He assures me it has nothing to do with his health. You know, he was hospitalized for a time last That's year, right. but he said that is not the reason why. He wants to spend time with his family. Love his that. two boys are seven, what are that, seven and five. Yep. And 
when they're younger, you could, he said they're portable, so right. they could go out on the road with you. But once yep. they become school age, we know that. Ah, oh, all yep. too well. And that's what he, he wants to What's do. What's that saying? You, you don't want to live to work, you want to work to, to live. live. Yeah. Yeah. But still, done. 300 more concerts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little all more work. Uh, and, and a few continents. But I, uh, Alan John saying he's taking a leap of faith. A man who's accomplished all that he has, and it's a lesson for all of us to to do that and yeah. to not let fear stop you from yeah. doing what it is that's in your heart that's to do. Really, mm -hmm. really amazing. You guys have a favorite song, by the way? Oh, too many, too many. Mine's your song. We played it at our wedding. It was yeah. our first dance. Yeah. I would love to have seen that dance, George. Oh, really? oh. oh that's. I would love to you see you dance. The word dance. I yeah, <laughs> I danced at my wedding. I'm not going to dance on TV. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.